Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crastoria 2. So, um, I've let this thing run over here for a while. How long do you ask? Well, um, I've done my groceries, I cleaned up my desk, I cleaned up part of my apartment. I think I let the game run for like two or three hours. Um, actually, no, it was probably more like two hours. Um, because this rocket over here, it's not entirely full. We are pretty much at the halfway point of fullness. But you know what? I think 50,000 cryonite rods over here, once they're all in here. I think that's more than enough for a while than we ever will need for a while. Also, this is such a higher density than shooting up the cryonite. Uh, keep in mind, like, every rod of cryonite uh, is made up of two crystals and two powder. Every crystal is made out of four powder, so every rod of cryonite is made out of ten powder. That is ten ore. So ten ore is one rod. Um, if we would only transfer the ores, every every stack of ore would be two rods. Um, and to get the same amount of this, we would need 25,000 stacks. 25,000 stacks, that would be so many more rockets. 25,000 stacks, that, that is, it's, it's 500 stacks per rocket. Um, maybe I'm off by a power of 10. That's still a lot. Um, yeah, this over here, this will be good for a while. Uh, we're going to launch this rocket right away. I just want to check something real quick back on Novus. I did put down a landing pad via remote. We're going to land over here. Um, but I do kind of want to check up one thing real quick, and that is the usage of this one. Uh, the slush. The slush requires sulfuric acid. Okay. And I think we do have a sulfuric acid pipe over here somewhere. Um, I was kind of thinking of maybe moving this thing around to someplace else. Um, and then, wait, actually, from the slush, we then need to go to water ice. And water ice is... Okay, that also requires water. So we might move this path, but then again, we got water over there. So that's not an issue. We could just do some slush processing over there. That's not an issue. And we got a sulfuric acid making machine over here. And that pipe is going... That's around. But it, you know what? It will be fine. It'll be fine. We're going to land over here on the Crynet Rod import. Um, that will be good. Uh, and the rockets over here. So let's head back with our massive hole of Crynet Rods. Also, it took me a while, but I did remember what I did forget to pack. Um, the one thing that's still missing on this outpost over here is Meteor Point Defense. So let's hope that nothing bad will happen. Novice, Crynet Rod import, all of this. Let's go. Now, we should probably also set up this over here. Yeah. And for now, it's fine. Off we go. And there is the landing. Good. So, um, if you have certainly can use shortcut home. Okay, I see. Uh, we now got everything over here. We need two things over here. Um, well, for one, well, we need to. <laughs> we definitely need the robot port over here. Uh, but let's put some filter inserts over here. Boop, boop. Uh, one of these will be uh, cargo rocket parts. Where are they? Are they over here? No, they, they should be over here, shouldn't they? Um, cargo rocket parts, cargo rocket parts. Are they in here? Yeah, they are. You do cargo rocket parts, and you over there, you do the cargo capsule, the space capsule. There we go. And now let's give it some power. Here we go. Uh, and the robot ports. Boop. Oh, almost. There we go. Place the thing over there. And good. And then we need one more thing. I'm just going to place one of these for now over here. Uh, and for this one, we do want to have a stack filter inserter. Here we go. Uh, and then we just go blacklist. Interesting to see that if you do blacklist, it immediately goes. But the things we don't want to put in here are these two items. There we go. I don't really want to empty out the cargo landing pad entirely right away. I just want to keep it over here for now. Uh, because once this thing is empty, a new rocket can land over here, and I kind of want to prevent that for now. Well, currently no rockets will be flying automatically either way, but in the future it might, so we do it like this. Good. That means we now have cryonite available. Cryonite is definitely a thing we need um, in space, so let's have a look over here in... Uh, it's probably one of these, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Bring me a thousand cryonite rods, please. And we're going to start thinking about what we need to do to make utility science packs. We need to cry that rods. We've got those processing units we have. Efficiency modules, we have those as well. Space transport belt, uh-huh, we have that. 
Uh, machine learning data is the only thing we still need to make and cool thermal fluid at minus 10 degrees. Now, thermal fluid, um, there is, oh boy. <laughs> Let's look at it in here, maybe. Maybe it's, it's easier in here. Thermal fluid. Um, there we go. Thermal fluid is made out of sulfur, iron plate, copper plate, heavy oil, and chemical gel. I don't think we're making chemical gel yet. And then cooling that stuff down. We're not even cooling that one down yet. Um, that is, wait, that's super cooling. Just cooling it down is over here. And for that, we need a thermal radiator. I think we can make thermal radiators already. We might already be making them in space. I will have to check. Um, but that's the stuff that we need. And for now, I'm going to start this research because we're probably going to need this either way sooner or later. Now, sulfur, we have in space. Um, I already forgot what we needed. <laughs> sulfur, we have in space. Iron plate, copper plate. Uh, I think we also have. Um, I see iron plate over there. Uh, aren't we ordering up copper plate? Wait a minute. Now we should be ordering up copper plate. Are we not ordering up copper plate? Excuse me. Yes, we are. <laughs> I definitely see copper plate over here, but it could just be that we are not ordering copper plate over in an automatic way. Also, uh, another thing we should do over here is definitely wire up... Um, well, that doesn't work. Uh, definitely wire up... Now, we don't have any big power poles yet. Uh, definitely wire up... Um, there they are. Yeah, place one over there. That'll be fine. Uh, these chests over here as well, so that we can see what's in those when we request for stuff. Good, 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 good. A whole bunch of cables. It goes every which way. That's perfectly fine. Um, perfect. So, um, iron plates. Now nah, we also need copper plates. Bring me a thousand, please. Uh, there should probably already be enough copper plate in space. There's five thousand copper plate in space, so we don't really need to bring anything. Uh, actually, no, that's 5,000 copper plate in my own logistics system, but in space, there's probably more than enough copper plate. Actually, there's 1,500 copper plate in space. We can check that from this com combinator over there. Then, didn't it also say something about steel? Or am I just imagining things? No, but chemical gel and heavy oil. Uh, heavy oil, I don't think we bring that in yet. So, heavy, heavy, heavy oil. And that's, of course, over here. Heavy oil barrels, bring me... 100, please. Uh, and then we need to think about making chemical gel. That is over here, craft. Chemical gel is made out of cosmic water and petroleum gas. And that's it. So not only do we need uh, heavy oil, we also need petroleum gas in a barrel. And that is the stuff that we find over... Uh, almost got it. There we go. We should have that all available. I think we have set up a barreling machine over there. That thing needs a couple of lamps. It's kind of dark over here. What's going on over here? Yeah, brighten up a little bit. There we go. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, took a breath when I was swallowing. That usually doesn't end good. <laughs> good, 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 good. So they're bringing me some more stuff. Um, This is full issue of petroleum gas barrels. Do we have... The other barrels in space done already. Oh, we do. I see 200 heavy oil barrels over there in the space inventory. That is fine. Good. That's what we need to make chemical gel. And then, very important, um, we need to make blank data cards. That's definitely something we need to do. For that, we need to make polished data substrate. Oh, let's do all of this again. Oh, I remember these. Uh, silicon, glass, and iron plates to make the rough data storage substrates. Uh, and then in space, the decontamination facility cannot be placed on land. Yeah, in space, we then uh, wash them uh, to turn them into polished data, or we chemical gel them to turn them into polished uh, data. So, first of all, we need to make some of the polished ones. Also, at some point in time, I did research assembly uh, machines Mark III, and I did put some of them over here on. Ooh, this is full now. Nice. Uh, on the uh, rocket part uh, assembly over here. Also upgraded over here to speed 2 and productivity 2 modules so that we have at least a little bit of a production bonus over here. But that looks really, really well. Which also means that this thing is full. That thing is full as well. I'm just going to unhinge it. Just go. Just, just pack those up. It's going to be useful either way. Good, 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 good. So, um, then... Um, 
data substrates. Data substrates at least some, uh, is at least something we can make on novice. And we should make them on novice and just shoot them into space. Um, I'm just having issues finding them at the moment. Did we already do them? We should have them available somewhere. Wait a minute. There they are. Um, glass, silicon, and iron plate. Okay. That's steel. That's glass. That's iron plate. Only thing we need for here is silicon. Um, silicon is around here somewhere. I think it's over here. Yeah, that's silicon. Good. Those are my silicones. So, you know what? Let's use a red belt. Mm, maybe not use a red belt. Actually, do use a red belt and this will work. Um, that will work and this will work. And there we go. We can make the stuff over here. Um, how much do we need? I also still need to find them over here. Um, where are these substrates? Am I being blind? I must be being blind. Uh, is it part from this thing over here? Mm. Okay, where are they? Substrate. Or do they not show up in my inventory crafting one? No, they are, they're part of science. Oh, they're over here. Um, okay, so to make one, we need five seconds of crafting and two, two, four. And then we turn them into the polished versions. The polished versions uh, take one every two and a half. Okay, and we do that in a decontamination facility. The decontamination facility has a crafting speed of one. We do know that. Uh, and we're just going to douse them with cosmic water because I think it's cheaper. And the cosmic water decontamination we can just do. With that, we can already start up getting some bio sludge because bio sludge is definitely something we're going to need at some point in time. Good. Um, so, okay. I'm just going to make four of these. I think four of these will be fine. Um, and we can just do that. Oh, you know what? One, two, three, four. We're gonna make five of these. Why not make five of these? Du -du 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 -du. Uh, and then you can go over there. You can go over there. No, there, please. Yes. And then we need the glass. Uh, I think we need a little bit more iron. So, you know what? Yeah, I have an alarm. <laughs> uh, and then the only thing we need is for... How did... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to happen. <laughs> and then we only need... Um, for a little bit of silicon over here. There we go. Uh, make a blue hand inserter. That will be fine. And then... Push them out of there. All of them in their own chest. Uh, I don't think it matters that we don't limit these chests. I think it will be fine. And then, very important, every one of these gets a speed module. And a couple of these can't. Actually, we can do it like this. There we go. Just press control. Uh, we get put some productivity modules in here. At least this way around. Um, they are 10% slower. That's fine. But they do make 12% more. Uh, and getting free product is, I think, the best product. I mean, everything that's for free is, be is better. Hands down. Everything that's for free is better. <laughs> if it's for free, it's better. Here we go. Food for free definitely tastes better than food you have to buy yourself. <laughs> ah, I forgot that we also make scrap over here. Yes. Um, I don't think we need these arms. Uh, but what we do need is this. And then top one will be scrap. And bottom one will be data substrate. There we go. And then copy paste. And then just add some more of these. There we go. Get the scrap out of here. The scrap, um, yeah. We will need to do something with the scrap at some point in time. Um, for now, I don't really care about it. For now, just let it all back up. Um, I kind of want to make more of the data substrate for now. Good. That does mean that we're going to have to wait a while for that stuff to come in. Next step. Let's go to space. Um, now, I did already set some assembly up over here. Um, we did... We are making some plasma generators over here, some biochemical facilities, some thermodynamics machines. And I think the next thing we're going to need to have is going to have be those thermal radiators. These thermal radiators, can we make them on novice? We have to make them in a space manufacturer. We only have this one open. So I know exactly what we're going to be making over here. It will be this thing over here. 
Uh, do we need to add anything more from over here? You need big electric engines, copper cable, space pipe, pu um, pumps, and steel. The only thing that's missing over here is the copper cable. Um, we are making copper cable over here. So we could just do something like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have one of these sitting around. I do hope we have one of these sitting around. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ah, then we need to have a different plan. Um, well, you know what? It's still a good plan. Uh, we're just going to have to pocket craft like a couple of these and put them on the rocket. That's going to be things that we have to do while we are in space. Um, and we're just going to load up the rocket with stuff. There's also um, a cargo landing pattern there because I kind of thought I would maybe shoot the cryonite up to the... Space platform, but I don't think that will be the case. Good. Um, we definitely need to wait for this stuff over here to finish up. We can already start ordering it up. Um, yeah, rough data substrate. Bring me a thousand. How high does it stack, actually? Okay, that's ten stacks. That will be fine. We can fill it up over here. Um, yes. Maybe for now. Wait, that's fine. I'm going to put you in manual mode because I don't really want this thing to fly away just at random at the moment. Especially if this thing is already past the halfway full warp mark and the no request mark. Because I kind of have the, thing, the feeling that we're going to be tinkering with this rocket a little bit more. Uh, and then we're going to add some stuff in there at some point in time. Good. Um, the Cryonite should be in there. Um, we do need to wait a bit. What else do we need? Uh, we do need to think about making chemical gel. We do that in the biochemical facility. And the other thing that we definitely need is we do need a couple of decontamination uh, facilities. We can make those in a space assembly. Perfect. Uh, let's go up here. Let's have a look at these. This one over here is still free. So you over there, you make a decontamination facility. Uh, you should have everything for that with the exception of the blue circuits. So we are going to order up some blue circuits for you. Yeah, have a stack of 100. I think a stack of 100 will be perfectly fine over here. Uh, and then you can keep working on that. We do need more space pipe over there. Space pipe is currently missing. What is space pipe missing? Copper wire. There we go. But we do have space pipe. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm very confused. Okay, if everything is as it should be. Uh, the only thing we should probably do is set this up. Um, how high do they stack? They stack up to 10, so I think two stacks is fine. These machines over here, they stack up to one, so like having 10 of these is fine. How is this doing? Oh, space scaffolding is also coming together. We're getting quite a lot of space scaffolding, so we can expand over there. These over there are fine as well. What are you missing? You're missing copper cable. Yeah, we know about that. Um... That's just a bit stupid. We could maybe just repurpose one of these. Maybe, maybe we can jury rig it somehow. I don't really see a way to do that at the moment. Well, we will just have to do it once we're there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Then, um, that's going to be uh, everything we need for the cosmic water. Yeah, that's also going to be what we need for the uh, contaminated bio sludge. No, for the contaminated cosmic water. There we go. Because the contaminated cosmic water over here, we turn that into... Yeah, we turn that into cosmic water and contaminated bio-sludge. And then the contaminated bio-sludge we turn into bio-sludge. And then contaminated scrap, we turn that into cosmic water again. No, we, no, we add cosmic water to it. Uh, and then we just clean that all up, all in the contamination facilities. So we should be focusing on that either way. In the meantime, uh, we could start thinking about the other thing we need. Um, because at some point in time, we do want to get ourselves some Vulcanite. This is going to be our Vulcanite planet of choice. Uh, it's on Calidus. Where is Calidus? Wait. Is it this one? One moment. I'm, I'm confused. Um, yeah, Turkmam. It's, it's a full planet. I thought it was a moon, but it's a full planet. It's our neighbor planet over there. And the issue over here with this planet is it is waterless. It has all the Vulcanite that we need. Uh, even other, some other stuff that we want. 
but there is no water on there and i don't think we can get water from uh the um atmospheric condensers over here so we need to provide water over there also if we want to do power over there we can't really do power with um with traditional power plants what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to make power with where are they don't we have the research yet oh we don't i think we need to do power with condenser turbines um those are definitely available to us i think i see them over here yeah condenser turbine uh what's missing oh electric water steam turbine condenser turbine good um and condenser turbines they can go every temperature range they can go for steam um steam um uh, or nuclear steam they can also go for traditional steam uh we are going for the traditional steam but they do require us to make some steam turbines and steam turbines over here they do require well a whole bunch of stuff yay uh but condenser turbines are really really good they are less efficient but you do get most of your water back so we only need to top up water every now and then uh and we don't just fully consume water so let's have a look at that um things we should make water ice for that we need to make fire net slush um and we do want to make water ice at a decent tempo um let's have a look let's have a look fire net slush if we set up like five machines that consume fire net rods we make 10 fire net slush and then Two machines eat two, one machine eats one. Wait a minute. So it's a one to two, what you're telling me. <laughs> you're telling me this is a one to two. Good. Uh, I don't see any chemical machines uh, um, in my pocket. So let's have a look if we can find some. Mm, where are we making those again? It should be... I think it was further down even. I think it was all the way down here. Yeah, there they are. Uh, there we go. Just give me like two of these real quick. And we are going to set up a machine that will make us some water ice. There we go. And we're just going to sketch it out over here real quick. Ah. Could I could I get my night vision? Wait a minute. What's going on over here? Oh. <laughs> my engines are out. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, sure. Nevertheless, let's go. Um, so we need one of these. We need one of. We need two of these. I think this will be the traditional build. Um, we are going to make some cryonite slush over there, uh, and then the slush over here gets turned into water ice. There we go. So each one of these machines needs one cryonite slush per second. That's two cryonite slush per second. Um, you make two per second. There we go. So that is the direct connection. It would be lovely if we could. Uh, that's the thing I really dislike. Uh, it would be really, really nice if we could, like, flip the inputs. Like, just, just mirror the inputs over here. Because then we could just double connect these. And then we would be done. But sadly, we cannot. Um, so, we probably have to do this a bit different. What we could do is something like this. There we go. Uh, and then maybe just do something like this, that, that. And this, this thing over here needs the rods and um, and some other stuff. What we could do is maybe something like this. Um, yeah, there will be sulfuric acid coming in over here. Uh, this thing over here just gets some of the cryonite rods from, from a middle lane over here. There we go. Um, yes, we could even move it in a little bit more because it doesn't need to be that far. And then, of course, we got another lane over here. And that will be the output lane. And then we just use you and you and one of these. Remember, shift plus L. It says in the description over there to make it a DR drop. Uh, and then we can just flip this. Here we go. Take all of this. Rotate that. Um, wait a minute. No, I'm not quite sure what I did over here, but that, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, we can flip flip this. There we go. Then take this and rotate it on top. There we go. And then we take this and we flip. Well, that's technically flipped. <laughs> flip that. Good. Um, this is still not fine. This needs to be up one higher. There we go. And then we do this. 
good. Because this thing over here puts out one water ice per second. Um, so that's two water ice per second. Um, and this thing over here eats one cryonite rod every five seconds. So what's the conversion over here? Uh, every five seconds we eat one. Every five seconds over here we make five. So it's a one to ten upscale. Uh, so the yellow belt over here turns into a... Oh, that's fast belt over there. Um, sure. If we then make a couple more of these. Um, so that's two per second. Yeah, that's two per second. That will be four per second. That will be... Uh, this will be eight per second. That will be ten per second. Sure. Let's make something like this. Pick the whole thing up. We're going to stick it. Over here somewhere. We could make it longer. The longer we make it, the better. Uh, and then the only thing we need over here is the occasional power pull. No, this this is going to be a weird power pulling. <laughs> I should have left a gap to, be, to better place a power pull over there. But, well, it's going to be like this. So be it. So be it. There we go. I mean, we could just pick it up again and move it around off by one and stuff like that. But you know what? I don't care. This will be fine. This will be fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. And then lamps on the other side as well. And then... Is it just me or am I missing a water input? I am missing a water input. What the hell? Uh, we need water over here and we need water over there. Here we go. Uh, let's just make a blueprint of this real quick so that we can have like a little prong. Here we go. Here we go. Something, something, something like this. Uh, and then on top of it as well. Uh, where's the water inputs? Oh, this on top? Yeah, this went completely wrong. The top is wrong. But I think we could make it like this. Because that should work. There we go. There we go. Good. Um, and then we just need to hook it up to water. How much water does this whole thing need? It does need 100 water per machine. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Let's add one more. 1,200. That is exactly what we can get through a single water pump. There we go. Now that water, that will be coming from all the way over there. Um, but I'll hook that up, um, on the off time because we have reached the end of the video. So we're going to make some water ice over here. Uh, and that water ice we're going to be exporting or we're going to be using that mostly on, uh, the Vulcanite planet because it has no water. And transporting water with water ice is the most efficient one because it can stack up water ice up to 200. Um, and water and barrels is like, that's, that's and barreling. Quite literally embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. I hope you had a good time. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash worldviking. Slash World Viking, there we go. <laughs> I think I swallowed the letter there. Um, where we do even more Rimworld, Captain of Industry, and Factorious soon again. Uh, also some GTFO every now and then. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time. See you around!